Okay, so do you guys remember this trick? No. Yes. Okay, this is the sometimes called around the corner integration trick, which is say I want a Laplace transform e to the t times sine t. Right? So that boils down to you need to do the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus st e to the t sine t dt. Yeah? Okay, so then you use an exponent rule and give. That would be e to the you gotta add them. You gotta add them. <laughs> so that would be a e to the minus st plus t yeah. times a sine t dt. Okay, and then maybe you rewrite as integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus s minus one in parentheses t times sine t dt. And then you do by parts. <laughs> yeah, and then the the kick of this is that you need to do by parts twice. And I just learned a fun trick, so I'm going to show you the trick and the around the corner thing. So two tricks is one. So this is what. What do you call this thing? Yeah. Tabular integration by parts? Yeah. yeah. Or the DI method. Yeah, so differentiate, integrate. The thing I want to differentiate is this e to the minus s minus 1 times t. How do you know? How do you know? Uh, in this one, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I just picked the thing that was easier to differentiate and the thing that was easier to integrate. Hmm. And then you do what? You write a plus sign here, a minus sign here, a plus sign here. As many times as you have to go. As many times as you have to go. Around the corner it takes twice. So you need three lines. So then you do what? derivative of this is minus s minus 1 e to the minus s minus 1 t's. And derivative again is s minus 1 squared e to the minus Does s minus 1 pop into t. the denominator? That's the thing. I'm yeah. differentiating. Oh. I'm in the differentiate column. Okay, we'll be mine forever. In the integrate column, okay. then I need to integrate. <laughs> so this would be the integral of sine is... The other one. The other one. <laughs> Cosine. Tangent. Negative. Uh, yeah, that should be negative. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then the, the integral of negative cosine is negative sine. Negative sine. Okay. easier the other way. And then you do this funky thing. So correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. You draw an arrow this way, an arrow this way, and an arrow that way. Yeah, I told you this. Just remember that. So then you do, so the integral that I started with, right, is the first arrow. So minus e to the minus s minus 1 t cosine t. You guys with me? OK. Minus from this minus sign. And then that arrow has a minus minus. A triple negative. Yeah, so maybe I should just write all this oh, yeah. crap out. So that's a minus s minus 1 e to the minus s minus 1 t times negative sine t. Cool? I feel... And then... Plus the integral. Plus the integral from, and again, 0 to infinity. These guys all need to be evaluated from 0 to infinity, by the by. Don't, don't worry about that. You just need to do it. Otherwise, you'll get t's in the answer. <laughs> and then this last integral should be this Let's thing see. times that thing, which is a s minus 1 squared e to the minus s minus 1 t times a minus, so minus and a sign. <laughs> sure. It's a minus sign. And then you're like, uh, dummy. One, you forgot a dt. Right. Better problem. This didn't make this better. <laughs> right? 
I mean, you still have things. I have a bunch of crap now, and the thing I started with. These all oscillate between, like, zero and infinity anyway, right? It's like, yeah. so squared, sine squared. What do you mean, shh, yeah, it's true? Yeah, so. No, no, no. no. It. no. So, the cool, this is the around the corner thing. What I have here, right, <laughs> is this thing. This building. I'm going to call this thing Bill. <laughs> what? <laughs> call it whatever you want. This is truly not the trick, I'm sure. This is, I was, I was going to ask. No, for real. Like, name it something. I don't care what. <laughs> How about Roe? Please note, or Linda. down over here, Bill came back. He wants the ball. Right? So the only thing here that's not Bill, right? All this junk is Bill. This thing's not. So factor that out. Oh, it's just a number. But so what you have, right, is yeah. Bill is oh my gosh. all this crap. It's Tim. Yeah, so you can name this whatever you want. That's weird. Let's call it Tim. <laughs> Calculus with Joe. So Bill <laughs> is Tim minus the quantity of S minus 1 squared times Bill. Wait, the integral. Yeah, Bill's an integral. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. See that? Cool. So then you uh, add six, six, S minus 1 squared times bill to the other side and factor bill out. So you get bill, right? Times one plus. Times one plus S minus one squared is 10. <laughs> Wait, say again, what? <laughs> so I, I added this crap to the other side. Sure. And then I factored bill out. Okay, cool, all right, continue. So I have bill, times this thing is Tim. So Bill, of course, the thing I was looking for, right, is Tim over 1 plus S minus 1 squared. And then you just need to know what Tim is. The common and so there's a whole bunch of crap here, right? It's a common But you're like, all right. So if I want to know what Tim is, if I plug in t equals infinity into this thing, you get plus and minus one. Right? I get by zero. Nothing. Sure. Right? In this piece. So I got first piece one, is infinity. zero minus by zero, is it? Plug in zero in, cosine of zeros okay. one. <laughs> S has to be bigger than zero. And e to the minus sorry. S has to be bigger than zero. Uh, S has to be bigger than one. Oh, yeah. You guys see that? So that's actually a nice caveat. Yeah. S has to be bigger. Than Does one. it split into from zero to one and then greater than one? No, it only converges when S is bigger than one. So when we evaluate I need this whole at thing zero, to be what happens? So when I evaluate at zero, I get okay. it has to be greater. Oh, no. cosine no. at zero is one. So I have. Zero, min zero is from the infinity part, minus... So you get one. Negative one? Negative one. So the first part of Tim is one, <laughs> and the second part is zero. Tim is one. So if you do that, evaluate it at infinity, you get zero, and then evaluate it at zero, you get zero, because it's got a sine t in it. You guys that? So Tim was just a really long-winded way of writing one. So in the end here, <laughs> right, in the end, over here, what I found is I found Bill is 1 over S minus 1 squared plus 1. And Bill was actually just the Laplace transform I was looking for. So this is honest to God the answer. Sneaky Bill. So, so this was a bunch of tricks all at once. How did you yeah, feel I this mean. was as a learning experience? <laughs> This is like learning that by a hurts. fire hose. <laughs> so the the trick here, there's two tricks. It's fun. One is just a way to tabularize integration by parts in a couple of ways. I don't care if you can tabularize integration of parts. Right? If you just do integration by parts twice, that's totally fine. The trick I want you to know is if you get back to where you started, subtract it to the other side, factor and solve. Cool? All right, I trust that you'll practice. <laughs>